right, so we've just found one of the animal sounds, so you need three more. Okay, there are plenty throughout this store that you can find. Do three more animal sounds, and then we will find a machine sound together, just so you can see, um, you know, if you're, if you're a little confused on the machine sounds, um, we'll go ahead and find one of those together. Um, like, for example, one of this says, tap, clatter, clink, dad drove the tractor into the yard. So that is a machine sound because it's coming from the tractor. And then we'll just bullet point. So you need three more um, Three more machine sounds, okay? So we got those done. Now let's move on to the next question. Read this sentence from paragraph 16. So the lid on the tractor's smokestack rattled when it chuffed and chugged to a stop. Read this sentence for context clues. So context clues are using the words around one word to figure out what it means. So read this sentence for context clues. The word smokestack is made from two smaller words. What does the whole word mean? So let's read the sen or this sentence again. The lid on the tractor's smokestack rattled when it chuffed and chugged to a stop. Does this mean A, a chimney used for letting out smoke, B, a stack of metal on a train or tractor, C, a column of smoke in the sky, or D, lids piled on top of each other. All right, number six. Which noise finally made Jacob aware that the farm had plenty of sounds? If you need help with this question, you can find it at the very end of our story in paragraph 19, okay, paragraph 19. And well, I would use 19 to 21. Which one of these sounds in 19 to 21 helped him realize there were sounds all around him? A, the humming bees in the hives. B, the noisy blue jays and sparrows. C, the cackling chickens in their yard. Or D, the yipping puppies in the stall. Which noise made him so frustrated he screamed? And after he screamed, he said, wait a second. These are noises around me. So which noise helped him realize that? Number seven, how does Jacob feel about his homework at the end of the story? A, he is still upset about it. B, he wants help to do it. C, he is eager to start and eager just means he's excited to start it. Or D, he decides to do it later. How does he feel about his homework at the end of the story? And lastly, our short response. The author provides a number of details to show that Jacob was missing the sounds around him. Use some of the details to demonstrate that Jacob just wasn't listening. So please use the sentence starters that I am providing for you. They are to help you, okay? So we're gonna start by saying, the entire story is filled with what? What was this entire story filled with? Jacob just didn't blank them. I'm gonna let you fill in some of these blanks. The entire story is filled with blank. Jacob just didn't blank them. So now what I want you to do is I want you to list some of the sounds that he didn't hear throughout this whole story. You can list a couple. So we're gonna say some of the sounds in the story include what? That's what you will fill in. All right, this whole story is filled with sounds. All right, so that is your short response. Be sure to use these sentence starters. They are there to help you. They're there to help you find all the um, details that you need. They're there to start your sentences strong. They're there to help you realize that you need a capital and a period at the end. Um, so please use those. They are there to help you. If you have any questions um, about the test, if you have, if you're stuck on a question, if you need anything, please message me.